Hi everybody, I'm Richard Hilton. I am the creator of Profit Renegade and today we are going to go over the email plugin settings. What the functions are and how it works and a couple advanced things for you to know. Now we're going to assume you know how to send it to the mailer. So what I'm going to do is I've already set up a couple campaigns so I'm just going to open the mailer Alright, let's walk through what these settings are. This is your SMTP. Um, you find your SMTP by simply going to your service uh, provider, whoever your host is, and going to their um, help desk or whatever, or going to Google, typing in the name of your provider, and put the word SMTP server in quotes, and it'll pull that up. Same thing for POP3. Now your from name, that's usually where you type in this. However, some services don't allow that. Some services insist that you use the email address of the service provider. I'm just pretending that AOL is my service provider. So, even though you wind up having that in two fields, sometimes for some services, that's how you have to make it work. Your username, that's what your uh, service provider your host provides you with same with your password you just put the information in I'm just gonna put these in so you can see what it does and I'm gonna click add and that puts it at the bottom of the list here if you want to edit it <clears throat> if you want to edit your account just click on it and click add again and once again puts it in at the bottom with with it being edited MIME, that stands for, I think that stands for Multi-Purpose Internet ex Mail Extension. What does that really mean? That means if you send out these big honking emails, it can support it. Um, UU, code, UU and code is an old format. It's there for very specific service providers, usually small um, ISPs. So 99.9% .9 of the time, you will not use UU and code you will use MIME. This drop-down window. What that is for is the urgency that you're trying to send out the email. If you stick it on high, almost everything you send out is most likely going to go in a spam folder. Don't do it. If you click on low, what happens is it's the lowest priority. So literally you send the mail today, they might not get it for a week. So I would just suggest a normal setting. That means when you send it, they send it. When it gets to the mail server, the mail server passes it on to the client, uh, to the account holder. You can check this HTML if you're trying to send out HTML. If you want it, if you have it saved as .html, just check this. However, a better way is if you do not check the HTML and you just simply copy and paste the HTML into a text file or rename the .html, .asp, .htm, .php, blah 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 if you just rename that to the .txt uh, and load it in of course uh, in proper renegade not the mailer this login box you almost always need and the pop login is if you happen, happen to have a server that requires you to pop into your account before it allows you to log in and send a lot of times if you can't get it to work, uncheck one of them, try it. If it fails, uncheck that one, try the next one. Um, you just got to play with the settings or go do some reading on your IS, uh, on your service provider. Or I keep saying service provider, but I mean your host. Settings. This is the amount per this is the amount you send per account. So if you have a cheap host and they only let you send out 300 per day, and you have several accounts in here you would probably want to put this more like 100 per account and let it roll through so it drizzles, drizzles the mail out per second that means don't go over do not send more than 100 per every 10 seconds or you could say 59 seconds so that's less than an hour the idea behind this function is to make the mail go out very slowly and rotate through the accounts very quickly. So you get a lot of mail out, 
without breaking um, any of your host's rules. The port, depending on where you're mailing from, meaning if you're at home sitting in your house on your on your computer, chances are that that port is port 25. Um, a lot of ISPs don't allow port 25 to be open, but what they do is they open up port 26 and then don't tell anybody. So if you can't get it to work on port 25, try port 26. That has a higher than 50% chance of working. If that still doesn't work, try port 24. If that doesn't work, go read. Or call them up and ask them. Um, I mean, just cut right to the chase. Start mailing on open. What that means is, if you set this up with Windows Task Manager, you can have this open up any time of the day or night that you want. Specifically, let's say you go to sleep at 11 o'clock every night. You just uh, set the Task Manager to open the program and start running and that'll work for you. Move to sent. That means after it confirms that it's sent to each, each, each email, it moves the email to a sent folder. Delete on sent. That means once it's confirmed that it's sent, it simply deletes it. You have to choose one of these. And then you have your campaigns. This is the setup campaigns. These are the campaigns you already set up. So what you do is you choose one, any one, and then you're set to go. Status window. That tells you how many sent, how many's failed, and how many's in the queue. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start sending. And oop, I need to get that out of there. So that's a that's bogus. So we don't want to try and send through that. Alright, now let me show you something that's more advanced. You see that it sent 60, 70 here in the last, I don't know, 10 seconds? I have no idea. I wasn't paying attention. I've already set up several different campaigns here. Now I'm about to do an upgrade on this in the next couple of weeks. When I do, I'm going to take all these modules and, or I'm going to make this so that you can just run multiple accounts at the same time. But just to give you an idea, Okay, so check this out. These are all set up. And there's a whole bunch of different accounts in it. So watch what happens. Alright, so I don't really want to just whack these. Well, actually, you know what? Why not? I'll just let them run for like two minutes and then you can get an idea of how much mail you can actually send out. As you can see you can start and uh, send. Each one of these has a different campaign so you're literally sending to different campaigns at this point. So I'm going to let it run for one minute. Um, the video is 8 minutes and 40 seconds right now. This module is taken out of Profit Renegade in order for it not to crash or to hog up your system resources. As you can see, I'm running um, five of them, and I'm barely pegging my system resources. I'm barely using up that much uh, bandwidth. This mailer gets you into the inbox as long as you do not, <coughs> as long as you don't use really dumb subjects, as long as you don't use words that you know are going to get filtered into the um, body of the ad itself. Then this is pr most of this is going to go into the inbox. The more accounts that you've set up to put in here off of different domains, the more mail that gets in. Um, the beauty of using different domains is if one goes down, you get blacklisted, or if one goes down because of complaints, or if one goes down for who knows why, um, all the rest of your mail still gets out. So if you send, say, 100,000 pieces of mail, 
and you spread that over um, you know 10 accounts and one count goes down you've only lost 10,000 pieces of mail and that's the whole point of using different domains that and the more domains you're coming from and the more you drizzle it in slowly and yes this is slow um, the way it's set up and it's individually sending each email to each person there is no CC carbon copy there is no BCC blind carbon copy there is no mucking about with the headers which is illegal this is uh, purely sending out one email to each person that you've set up in the campaign and because of how it's doing it it gets like I said most of the email into the inbox regardless of what ISP or whether it's Gmail Yahoo AOL or whatever it goes right in as long as you're not blacklisted and you haven't used any dumb uh, words that'll get you filtered it works for you um, so this has been running about a minute and we're just gonna call them 500 yeah they're all close enough so that's basically 1,000 2,000 uh, 2700 so what in a span of a two minutes you've sent out 2700 emails and that's not even that's only opening up five so what is that 2700 times 60 2700 times 60 because there's 60 minutes in a thing so look at that, it's sending out about 160,000 an hour on the bare minimum settings. If you don't think you can make some money sending out 150,000 emails an hour, then uh, then you just don't know how to send out, you just don't know how to do emails. And I'm going to be writing up some uh, tech sheets on how, or some hints on how to send emails, the best type, how to keep them small, the type of stuff you want to keep out of it, the best uh, times of day to send, blah blah blah. Um, look forward or look for it here in about a week or two I'm a slow writer but I got a really fast editor so once I'm done she'll take she'll handle it and we'll get it up on the site for you I think I answered or I think I went over everything that you need to know with the mailing flow with the email plugin um, if you have any questions or if I was confusing on something just let me know